Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. Today's video is a dressing guide for doctors and what to wear as a physician if you like a classic wardrobe. Basically, you have three things to consider. It's the employer's guidelines, it's your personal preference, and the patient's perception. So does the physician's attire really matter According to studies, the answer is yes. First impressions are alive and well. And if we want it or not, people perceive that first impression they get from what they wear and how people look. Based on what people see, they immediately judge how trustworthy you are, how competent you are, how smart you are, and even how much you earn. For doctors, that perception goes even deeper because because of your profession, people have a higher degree of trust and expect more of a professionalism than with other people. On top of that, dressing the part helps you to visually set yourself apart so when you enter a room, it's clear that you're the doctor, not the patient, not the nurse, or anyone else. For example, the Mayo Clinic did a case study and they came to the conclusion that they want professional attire for all of their doctors. They believe it conveys professionalism and expertise. And even though it's not universally loved, it helps the Mayo Clinic to cement its standard as a world-class medical institution. So what physicians wear in the US can be very different from Germany. As you may know, I'm from Germany and doctors there traditionally wear all white. That means white lab coat, white pants, white shirt, sometimes even a white jacket, white socks and white shoes. That may sound very impractical as it gets dirty very quickly, but it's just a tradition and it's still respected by many institutions and doctors. In other countries like the UK, a study in 2007 suggested for doctors not to wear ties because of hygienic reasons. That being said, if you want to wear a tie, go for it. Just make sure that you use a tie clip or a tie bar and you can learn all about this accessory in this video here. <laughs> when in doubt and you don't know what to wear, going a notch up is always better than going a notch down because it adds that additional professional appearance that represents you as a doctor and the institution you work for. So what should you wear as a doctor? First of all, if your organization has a strict dress code in place, follow that and don't try to step outside of those boundaries. If a BBE policy or bare below the elbows policy is in place, of course you have to skip the jackets and the long sleeve dress shirts. Now you can either go with a polo shirt or you can have a dress shirt with the sleeves rolled up. Personally, I'm not a big fan of short sleeve shirts. However, if that's what works best in your situation, go for it. If all you need in white is a lab coat, you can wear a two-piece suit, even a three-piece suit, which helps to keep your tie in if you wear one, and you should always wear a tie with a three-piece suit. If you go with a two-piece suit, you can wear a bow tie or a tie, or you can skip it all together. It really depends on your preference. Overall, wearing a suit or an odd jacket combination is the epitome of a professional outfit for a doctor. I know Dr. Andre Churchwell, and he always dresses in flamboyant suits, but it suits him really well. If you find that's a little over the top for you, it doesn't make you comfortable, don't wear a suit. Instead, you can wear an outfit combination with an odd jacket such as chinos and a sport coat or a blazer or a suit jacket. To learn more about chinos in general or a blazer, please check out these guides on our websites here. If you plan to spend a day in your lab coat, it really pays to invest in a number of different dress shirts because they will build the backbone of your doctor's wardrobe. Of course, white works, but it shouldn't be slightly off-white and clash with your lab coat. So you can go with something like I'm wearing here right now, which is a check shirt. You can go with stripes. And if you easily overheat and your workplace is worn, I suggest to skip double cuffs and go with button or barrel cuffs because they make you feel less worn. Traditionally, I always favor shirts without a chest pocket. However, as a doctor, it may come in handy to have a pocket that you need because function is more important than style in that regard. And so you can go with a chest pocket if you use it. As you know, a workday can be really long and so it pays to invest in quality shoes. Now, a lot of doctors wear tennis shoes and there are different ranges of what you can wear. I personally find Goodyear welted shoes extremely comfortable even if I wear them all day long because they have a cork bed and they're extremely elegant. If you want to go all white, you can even find white buckskin wingtips that work very well for doctors. Otherwise, you can go 
with just a regular Oxford or even better Derby shoe because of the open lacing system. They're usually more comfortable when you wear them for longer times. The great advantage of leather shoes with a leather or linen lining compared to tennis shoes is that it absorbs the sweat much better and your foot climate will be much more comfortable throughout the day. That aside, a pair of leather dress shoes makes you look instantly more competent and professional. As you might have noticed, I'm wearing a bow tie here right now. And bow ties are better for doctors than regular neckties because they stay up at all times. So no matter if you quickly lean over a patient or there's maybe an open wound, having the bow tie up here never interferes. If you have a tie clip, it may come loose. If you have a vest, it may slip out. But usually if you do it right and you maybe even tuck in the tie into your waistband, you should be fine. A vest is also much better than a tie clip simply because it covers a lot bigger part of your tie. At the same time, it's an extra layer of fabric and it may make you overheat, especially if you have to run and work hard physically. So the choice is yours, of course. Personally, I find bow ties are perfect for doctors because one, they don't interfere with your day-to-day -day work and B, they make you stand out from all the others instantly. Apart from that, accessories are one of the easiest ways to upgrade the look of your outfit. I'd always suggest you wear a pocket square if you wear a jacket because it just rounds out the look. While boutonnieres can really change the entire look of your outfit, I suggest you stay clear of them because they may look foolish to some patients and on top of that, they may be crushed under your lab coat. So if you want to wear flowers, keep it for casual times outside of the workplace. If you wear white shoes and white pants, it helps to wear white socks. I suggest to go with white over the calf socks and cotton because they absorb sweat and help keep you comfortable all day. So as a conclusion, the best thing you can do as a doctor is to always put in the extra effort and dress in a way that makes you look more professional. If a suit is too much, go with a combination. If you can't wear jackets, go with dress shirts and roll up sleeves or short sleeve shirts and try to accessorize what you have and always go with neckwear, especially a bow tie, because it sets you apart from others and it doesn't interfere with your work. In today's video, I'm wearing a typical outfit that you could wear as a doctor. It starts with a dress shirt with barrel cuffs with buttons so I don't overheat. I have a matter silk bow tie from Fort Belvedere in green with a micro pattern. It's a green sport coat that's part of a suit. It's single breasted because it keeps me cooler than a double breasted jacket. Then I'm wearing a pair of chinos in a classic sand tone. They have cuffs, so they hang nicely. I like larger cuffs, but that's simply my personal preference. I combined it with a pair of shadow striped socks in brown and blue by Fort Belvedere. The blue picks up the tones in my dress shirt. The brown picks up the tones in my dark brown shoes with my cognac shoelaces. And they're a classic pair of long wingtip shoes that are Goodyear welted and comfortable all day. And they have a leather lining and a cork insole, which is really comfortable. My pocket square is a English silk pocket square that is printed. It has tones of blue, green, brown, and red, so it ties my entire outfit together. All the accessories I'm wearing here can be found in the shop. I could easily swap out this coat with a regular blazer or even maybe a light gray coat, maybe even a brown coat. All looks good and works, and you can basically choose what you like. If you want to wear a patterned sport coat, I suggest you wear a solid shirt. That's really all you have to pay attention to. If you enjoyed this video, please sign up to our free email newsletter so videos like this come right to your inbox. And we even give you a free guide about 15 style mistakes. And we have another free guide about what to wear when you go to black tie events, which may happen when you're a doctor. So stay tuned. <laughs>